Building on our previous video of the rules of derivatives for some basic functions, we're going to build some more rules that are rules for derivatives in some more advanced cases. So first off, we have the scalar multiple rule. This is whenever we have a function times a constant, what's the derivative of that function? So the derivative of a constant times a function is a constant times the derivative of that function. So much as we saw in the previous video, if we have the derivative of 5x squared, well, we know from the polynomial rule that the derivative of x squared is going to be 2 times x. So if we want the derivative of 5x squared, we take 5 times the derivative of x squared. So 5 times 2x gives us 10x. Similarly, ddx of 8 times sine x, the derivative of sine is cosine. 8 times that is 8 cosine. So the derivative of 8 times sine is 8 times cosine. All right, the sum rule, whenever we want to take the derivative of a sum of two functions, if we have f of x plus g of x, what's the derivative of that? Well, luckily, that is just the derivative of f of x plus the derivative of g of x. So these two combined are show that a derivative is what you would call a linear operator in quantum mechanics, as you'll eventually see there. Okay, so some examples of that. The derivative of 2x squared plus 3x to the fourth. Well, by the scalar multiple rule, this 2x squared derivative is 4x. 3x to the fourth, the derivative is going to be 12x cubed. So the derivative of their sum is just the sum of their derivatives, 4x plus 12x cubed. All right, the derivative of e to the x minus 1. Derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x. And the derivative of a constant, negative 1, is 0. So that's plus 0, which is just the same function e to the x. All right, now getting a little trickier, the product rule derivative of the product of two functions, f times g, is going to be f of x times the derivative of g of x plus g of x times the derivative of f of x. So the first times derivative of the second plus second times derivative of the first. So showing some examples of that, d dx of x e to the x is going to be the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so if we do uh, 1 times e to the x, we get our first term. And then e to the x derivative times x gives us x e to the x. Or more clearly, d to the x of x squared cosine. Derivative here is 2x. Derivative here is negative sine. So we have 2x times cosine. And then we have negative sine times x squared, or negative x squared sine of x. All right, trickier still, the quotient rule, d dx of f of x divided by g of x. This is equal to, we have a prefactor of 1 over g to the x squared. And then on the inside, we have something that looks very similar to the product rule, except for one of these terms is negative. And it's the term where we take the derivative of the denominator is the one that's negative. So we have, we have denominator times derivative of the numerator minus numerator times derivative of the denominator. So an example here, d dx of 2x over x squared minus 1. Derivative of this is 2. Derivative of this is 2x. So we have 2 times x squared minus 1 minus 2x derivative here times 2x. And then all of that divided by the denominator squared, x squared minus 1 quantity squared. OK, and lastly, uh, helpful in many, many circumstances is the chain rule. So this is when we have the derivative of a function of another function. So ddf of f of g of x, we first take the derivative of f of g, then we take the derivative of g of x. So that all seems fairly abstract and complicated, but it's less so when you look at some examples in practice. 
So let's take a look here. We have ddx of sine of 2x cubed. Okay, so first part, we take the derivative of sine, which is cosine. So we have cosine, and we keep everything on the inside the same. So 2x cubed. Then we have, uh, then we have on the ins outside there. So we have 2x cubed on the inside here. The derivative of 2x cubed is going to be there. Movie magic. We fixed it. It's like it never happened. Okay. So we have taking the derivative of the inside, 2 times x cubed. That's going to give us 6 times x squared. So we pull that to the outside. So our derivative is going to be 6x squared times cosine 2x cubed. All right, and a derivative that comes up fairly often is e to the negative kx squared. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So this derivative, we keep everything inside here the same. We have e to the negative kx squared once again. And then taking the derivative of the inside here, we have negative kx squared. The derivative of that is going to be negative 2kx. So we pull a factor of negative 2kx to the outside, and we get the derivative of e to the negative kx squared is negative 2kx e to the negative kx squared.